Hello everyone, Don Master here. Got a little neat video for you. New tool that came in that I thought would be decent for the price. And uh, I got this gear wrench um, quarter drive 80 tooth locking flex head ratchet. Um, made in Taiwan. It's a 81015A 07 lifetime warranty. We're going to get this puppy opened up. It's uh, seven inches in length. Same length as my 120 XP I got several months ago that I love. Use it every day at work. As you can see, it's been used and abused. Haven't had any issues with it. Very fine tooth. Very smooth. Three degree arc swing, but it's not a full true locking flex head. It's just the detent which I don't really have a problem with, but in the straight position, it's not exactly straight. But it hasn't bothered me too much because it does flex, so. This one came in one of my kits that stays in the car. It's gotten a lot of use too. The 90 tooth, pretty smooth as well. Uh, I don't think there's that much of a difference between it and the 87. So I just go with the 87s now when I can because they're a lot cheaper. Here's another 90 tooth that came in that kit. A lot of use uh, at home and whatnot. These handles are great. Um, they hold up great. They feel great. And here's an old Maco. Same kind of design as this. Just older. Made in USA Armstrong. But same concept there. Locking flex. Same design. This is a very coarse tooth ratchet though. Um, this is the old Maco, back when Armstrong made their tools. Maco USA stamped. <laughs> Here we have another gear wrench. Um, and this I got on Amazon, pretty good deal on it. I think it was like 20 bucks, 25 bucks. It's a locking flex head, fine tooth, bit driver. Very fine tooth. It's got a spinner wheel here, which makes it really nice. I used it today. A hard to reach Torx bit on a fuel pump on the very bottom up against the engine block and I had to get in there and crack it loose with this leverage. I was able to spin it out and it has pretty minimal back drag, honestly, for gear wrench. The only uh, complaint I have is this pin is a little weak because it's so small. So this is slightly bent for me really cr working on it but it has a lifetime warranty but i really like this bit driver and it comes with this bit for putting sockets on that quarter inch bit and then you can put bits in there if you want that's what i did today a t25 uh mid-length mac bit i put in there and then my uh <clears throat> last gear wrench ratchet i bought before this one you guys have seen and i've been using it at work just kind of a two-week review and uh, i've used it a few times and I really like it. It's really smooth. It's the 84T. Uh, you can see it's already got some scratches. Haven't had any issues. Really fine tooth, durable ratchet for uh, 30 bucks. I mean, not bad. And this is like a 15 or 16 inch ratchet, half inch drive, and it gives you just enough leverage to, you know, get something done. So we'll open this up. We'll look at the new 84 tooth locking flex quarter. And I'll show you something in the new Cornwell flyer that I think I'm going to pick up. Um, my dealer's got one on order for me. I told him to surprise me on which one. So, anyway, let me open this one up. By the way, the knife I'm using today, I've never shown you guys. It's a uh, uh, Smith & Wesson out the front kind of utility knife. And it's got the breakout for glass on the back and then push button front and the blade comes out very nice knife um, I think it's legal Smith & Wesson push that down drag this to put the knife back in place and it's got safety here on the bottom you can lock it out so that way this doesn't get bumped on accident but uh, it's very sharp and um, I used to open packages and whatnot um, See that? It just glides right through it. So, let me get this out. It's 
So here, here's the ratchet in the unlocked position. It's pretty loose. And then you lock it like that. Now it's locked. This is pretty smooth. I like this. Locked. Pretty fine tooth. Man, that feels really nice. I'll get a socket to put on there. Nice length. See, it's basically the same as the 120 XP. This one's just locking. I don't know if the head kits will swap. I think they might be slightly different thicknesses, but... This one just has a smoother feel to it. And then you got the 90, 90 tooth. Honestly, the 87 feels finer. I don't know why. The 87 feels smoother for some reason, in my opinion, but the 120 is the smoothest. Um, the finest tooth. Anyway, we're going to use this at work. and then, I don't know. I might use it at work. I might put it in one of the uh, tool kits, the Gear Ranch tool kits at home. Like, take this one out of it, put this one in, because it's always nice to have a, a flex head quarter for getting in tight spots. But, uh, there's a torque wrench that I'm going to get. Um, I decided to go with Cornwell. I don't have a uh, click type uh, quarter drive torque wrench, inch pounds. I have a, um, a needle dial snap on torque wrench for torquing injector. Uh, spec on a uh, Cummins ISX. I had to get one for that. Or that's actually 3 H drive, but it's inch pounds and it has the, the needle that sweeps. I've had that for a while, but I don't have a click type quarter inch uh, for doing, you know, small bolts and stuff. So I thought Cornwell had a really good deal. Um, they're normally, oh, like almost $300. And they're about 350 on the Snap-on truck, I think. Same on the Mack truck. They're actually 389 for their little quarter drive, like 20 to 200 inch pounds, I think is what it is. But Matco's got it for, uh, I hope this is the right flyer. I got a pile of Matco flyers. I thought I grabbed the most recent one. Sorry folks, but you got a glance at that. I don't see it in any of the flyers I have at home. For some reason, I thought I had it, but what I'm getting is uh, the quarter drive torque wrench from Blue, from uh, it's not Blue Power. It's just Cornwell. I don't know if it's made in USA, but normally they're 289 and they're on sale for 159 for the fixed head and 169 I think for the flex head quarter drive. And I believe they're 72 tooth. Probably they have a blue knurled handle on them, both of them. And uh, he said he'd order me one i told him i don't care if it's flex or straight just get whatever one you can get maybe he'll get both let me decide then but he didn't have them on the truck monday so i think that that's probably the best deal you're going to get for a tool truck um torque wrench quarter drive on the sale they have right now for that i mean about a hundred and a half that's not bad uh the gear wrench one that i was gonna get amazon sells it for like 130 i think so for a few bucks more, you can get one off the tool truck with a tool truck name on it. That's what I'm going to go with. So hopefully uh, it looks nice and works out good. I'm sure it will. You know, Snap-on, I really want the electronic quarter, but it's just too expensive. It's like 550 or 600 bucks. And the, even the gear wrench electronic ones are really expensive. Same as the Mako. So I'm just going to get the regular click type while it's almost half off, I think, through Cornwell. So anyway... Hope you guys like this ratchet, and uh, we will have another video coming up on that Cornwell uh, torque wrench. I'll probably get it on Monday. We'll do a Cornwell Monday video. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, and uh, have a great weekend.